Yo, what is up, guys? And we are here with the brand new uh, uh, event, which was dropped this Friday. Sorry for the delay in videos. So yeah, it's styles uh, style icons 2.0. So yeah, let's just start with the latest news with these prime times. You got Miguel Rant in 94. Like, out of these, the only ones worth getting are Rantan and Yossi. And then Svechnikov, Buknevich, and Robertson are just meh. Those are in, like, guys you go after. Uh, so yeah, we also got these, uh, new cards. They're really not worth getting. They're not good at all. Just don't get those. And this is what we came to talk about. The new style icon cards. Oh, uh, you got the new power up icons. Kakanen, Mantha, Clark, Monahan. Litrum looks really good. So does Pasta. Alright. So yeah, with this new uh uh event. You can get, as you know, the challenges come out, and you can get collectibles, like in this daily collectible. So yeah, for today, get a collectible in this. So yeah, every series has three challenges, based on the players that are here. It was Sagan, Chickering, Carlson, and Price for week one. Every group, you have to, like, yeah, play, get seasonal collectibles, gold player packs, coins, and event collectibles for these roots of these players so yeah and then let's talk about the players themselves oh yeah so we got seven it takes seven style icon collectibles to build a certain player out of these week one players of course there's going to be week two players you can trade in two for a game day, which I recommend you don't, since it's untradeable. And this master pack, I mean, this is one I'm building up to. I think I the odds are good for me. I like all three out of four. I don't like Carlson. So, yeah. I'll explain why I don't like him later. So, yeah. I think I have a good shot of getting somebody he likes, so I'm not going to waste an extra two collectibles. And then here it is, EA did us a favor with those uh, Team of the Year collectibles we have left over. We can trade them in for one Stylog icon collectibles. So you have 15 gold players, 80 plus, 1080 pluses, uh, 8 I believe is 81 pluses, yes, for one collectible, 782. Two pluses for a collectible. Two collectibles for 383 pluses. Which is not worth doing. Uh, two for 284 pluses. These are not worth doing. I mean, 285s for three. is. I mean, if you got left over, do it for sure. But if you don't, 186 for three. This actually might isn't that bad. 5, 4, and 87, not too bad if you have any leftovers. Unless it's a core part of your team, then don't do it. Uh, and 6, as you know, I am a pure free-to-play player. I do not spend any money. I don't even play Rivals. I honestly do not play Rivals. So yeah, that is for the players. I'll go on to their bio. Let's check these packs out first. Uh, we got this week one getting random 86 overall week one master item. Not worth doing again. That's a rip off. It's just not worth it at all. A power up. This is not worth it either. And then you got. I mean, yeah, these packs really aren't worth it. I mean. I, I I like these elite player player packs a lot better. So yeah, now we got the players themselves. Tyler Sagan, this dude is looking nasty as hell, bro. This has got to be the best card. Of course, I'm ranking these two. They're not in order. I mean, Sagan's got to be top two. I'm giving him top two right there. 
It's just those nasty hands, nasty shooting. It's just insane. And it's not like he's slow, he's fast too. And he's a pretty good size at 6'1". Like, this is just amazing. Of course, he's got a lot of abilities. And with the new... Uh, uh, I forgot what is it called. Uh, the points thing. Two ability points, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't want to put on any of these X-Factors. Carry Price post-to-post -post is the only one you want to put on. This is one I also want to get just because I'm in need of a goalie. I have an 81 goalie in net. So, oh yeah, that's pretty good stats. Jacob Chikrin is, like, my other top two, bro. He's big in size. He's strong. He knows what he's doing. He's got incredible defense checking. He's got really good hands, shooting. He's just the all-around player. Being 6'2 and 92 speed, these synergies are absolutely amazing. And he's got truculence. Shut down, which only takes one point. Tape to tape. It's an absolute amazing card. This is just absolutely. It'll be a really tough choice if I have to pick Chikrin or Sagan. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about this. This is insane. Like, I mean, it takes four ability points for Truculence. I really badly want this. A left-handed D-man. Those are usually a lot easier to find. There's more left-handed than right-handed D-man. So, I mean, you'll probably find better options at one point. But for now, this is a great rental to have. Alright, moving on to Eric Carlson. I mean, he's at 6, which is a good height. But it's the fact he's still 94. But all of his goodness comes out of his offense. And usually defenders... I'm not a fan of rushing defenders. So, I mean, booming shot, yeah, that's a good synergy right there. Buzzing is good. But then his superstar abilities, elite edges... I mean, that's not that useful. I mean, fine, that's useful. Thunderclass, useful. Tape to tape, I guess so. Why does he need wheels? Eric Carlson. Like, that's just useless, especially for 10 points. Oh, look at these synergies. His defense isn't as good as the others. His speed is insane. His skating's good, too. Really good. I mean... Eric Carlson's just not worth getting. He has a wrong... He's just the wrong type of player. He won't fit well with your team. So, yeah, of course we have the insane free 94 overall. EA just gave us out of the 8 week 1 and week 2 MSPs. Open 7 daily rewards. Play 82 games and rivals. To score 289 goals. Win 51. 9 shutouts. 